Any questions? Gary, is it fair to say you saved your worst till last? Oh, yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt, obviously, uh, tough conditions tonight, but uh, yeah, just wow, I, I, you couldn't quite get a, um, a grip of what we were doing with the ball. We just, I mean, the mo most of the errors were, well, they're forced, but they're unforced, if you know what I mean. I mean, the, the pretty basic stuff, carrying off the rook and just putting the ball down, so yeah, it's hugely disappointing that, that we made 18 errors tonight, or you know, 10 in the second half and I, I, I didn't think we could get any worse than we were in the first with ball retention but, uh, but we managed to achieve that in the second so yeah just massively disappointing that we just couldn't sustain or build any pressure on Leeds at all um, we just did that to ourselves really so yeah just just disappointed that we, we didn't really do ourselves justice if we'd have been able to do that and got beat then you can you can hold your hands up and say fair enough but uh, obviously Leeds didn't see the best of us tonight and they were um, they, they were pretty good I thought obviously massively deserved the, the win because we were nowhere near but uh, I don't think they had much to beat tonight and that's the biggest disappointment from our perspective that we didn't we, we, we just really didn't put up enough of a, uh, a battle because of our ball retention. I mean they made a lot of handling errors as well I just is there, is there something about the ball that's a problem when it's wet like this. I mean, it's been talked about before. Yeah, it's not the best ball. Um, yeah. But I, I haven't seen as we've played in wet conditions before and I haven't seen us make that many errors. So yeah, yeah it just escalated on us and what, what the harder we tried the worse we got and it was one of those games that worse, yeah. yeah, it can be. Yeah, so yeah, just disappointed. Um, just never really got going. Do you feel the the occasion got to some of the lads or was that not? Not really. I think you know. I mean, I thought we started the game pretty well. You know, we were um, we were marching leads uh, upfield, and we got ourselves uh, in, into good field position. Um, and then we just, yeah, it was just errors, really. I, you know, whenever we looked like we were going to gain some ascendancy, we just put the ball down. It's, uh, you know, I can't say it was the way that we played because they were just carrying balls off the rook. I thought in the main we defended. Pretty well. I mean, we've conceded tries from kicks, which happen in these these type of conditions, uh, and we didn't really get to many kicks because uh, we dropped the ball that many times. You know, I mean, 18 sets, 18 sets, 18 errors. That's almost a half of, of football. I mean, I, I don't know how many how much ball. I didn't check right at the end, but we might have had 15 or 16 sets in the second half. Um, you know, you work that out. It's your completion rate is is probably lower than 50 percent today, and. Um, you can't win grand finals. You probably won't win many games, really, um, at completing at that sort of uh, level. So, uh, see, I don't think it was the occasion. I think it was just, just. Uh, it's hard to say what it was because you know, just some of the uh, some of our boys making uncharacteristic errors um, consistently. What's the feeling in the dressing room? It must be pretty pleasant. Well, it's pretty numb, yeah. I, I, I've just said to the players there, is like, you've got to use this as fuel, but you get a lot of blank eyes looking back, you, back at you because it's, it's the biggest game of the year and um, and we've come up short, so it, it, we'll certainly turn it around the other way, but uh, at this moment in time, it obviously doesn't feel great because, you you know, it was a sobering experience um, watching that, you know, it, it, with, with dignity, you, you stand and you watch them celebrate what they're doing, but... Um, it don't feel great when you've lost, so uh, yeah, it's uh, a tough one to take. How much of a disruption was the hard air stuff so like in the week? Though? Well, it's a big disruption, isn't it? I mean, I, I still thought we had a we had a team out there that that could have won the game if we'd have played anywhere near our potential. But you you, you take a, a player like him out of any team, and it's going to be a disruption. You take your fullback out two de two days before a ground. We've got one session preparation. So it's not going to help, is it? It's clearly not going to help. So, um, look, that is what it is. Uh, there's absolutely nothing we can do about that. But um, I still thought we had enough to to win the game. But you, you can't win playing like that. When did you sort of realise during the game that you just weren't things just weren't going your way? Was it when Eden? Looked as though he was going to score in the middle line, not the out of his eyes. Yeah, it was a little bit loud. I mean, that was first half. Second half, really, where you know, I, I thought we started the second half with a bit of intent about us. Um, but then we just dropped the ball. You know, we dropped the ball on second tackle consistently. Uh, and we just couldn't get a foothold in the game. Uh, and Leeds, 
we, we didn't like we were going to score at any point, didn't we, really? You know, and we've been pretty tough to defend it against consistently this year. But um, you're dropping ball on second and third tackle, it's not going to, it's not going to happen. Um, you can't give your, your kickers a chance to uh, to put the foot on the ball, which Leeds did a fair bit more than us. Um, and they, they got a little bit of luck here and there with, you know, even poor kicks were bouncing for them. It was just one of those nights and uh, they thoroughly deserved to win tonight. But, uh, yeah, just disappointing. You, you want to do yourself justice on this stage. And, um, you know, it's pretty gut-wrenching to see a group of blokes who've been so superb this year come up with um, a, a really poor effort. Do you know what happens next with, with Zach Darrell? Does he have a future at the club? Or is it is it up in the air at the minute? Can you comment? Uh, I can't really comment. I, I think it'll it'll come out in dual course, probably pretty quick dual course, I would say, but um, it's nothing to do with me, that. So it, that'll, that'll um, you'll all be aware of that pretty quickly, I think. What's been the reaction of the lads to that news? They must have been disappointed. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it was a, a first smack in the chops initially, but... Um, I watched how we trained yesterday and we were really sharp and, and accurate and uh, everything we did was 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 really really good so there was nothing to think well we're not going to carry that into a into a performance whether it goes any deeper than that um, within the psyche of, of players and the group I don't know but on on the face of it I thought there was a lot of belief there and um, yeah just it happened for us just it happened for us in in the game and the harder we tried, the the worse it, it got really. And um, yeah, you know, like I said, we've had players who've been unbelievable this year, right on top of the game, uh, just having probably the worst the worst game of the season. And we might have had ten or eleven players having the worst game of the season tonight. So yeah, if that happens, then you're not going to get anything out of a, a big game like like we had tonight. How would you assess the season? I know it's a bit raw now, but it's still been a successful season for the club as a whole, hasn't it? It's been a really big step forward for you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think you know. Sometimes you get when you when you lose a game like this, it's obviously going to be pretty numbing. And uh, it, it, yeah, I tried to remind the players of that. You know, we've been we've had a special season, absolutely no doubt. Um, we wanted to have a special night tonight, but that's that's not the case. And uh, this will hurt for a long time. But I, I I would like them to remember how outstanding they have and we have been this this year because it's um, it's been an incredible start to a. Well, we're in the middle of a journey now, but um, you know, I just think we've got a great opportunity moving forward that we uh, will be around for a long time as a as a force. And um, they, all, they usually say in Australia, you have to lose one to win one, don't they? I've never been a big believer in that, but I think I'll take it on now and um, <laughs> we'll go with that. I just wonder, Daryl, whether you know, it's a long season, a very long season. You know, you can't play well every time. I'm convinced, you know, you can't play well all the time. But I just, I just wonder, you started the season like a house on fire. You were fantastic, really. But then, you know, the last few weeks, you, you've just perhaps struggled a little bit. You obviously just beat Saints. And, you know, you've not quite be, as, been quite as good as you were right at the start of the year. I just wonder whether, you know, you can sort of plan it so that the best rugby is played at the end rather than the, the beginning. It's pretty tough, isn't it? You want to start the season well because you don't want to be in that bottom four, so... Um, you want to start the season well. You want to maintain it for as long as you can. Um, I think we've been pretty consistent, to be honest. You know, we've lost a couple of games here and there, um, and, and for, for games like tonight, um, you know, it's gone final. It's tense. It's it should be tight. Obviously, it got away from us a little bit there. But I mean, that game last week was an unbelievable game. I mean, to win that, we had to come up with some special pieces of rugby league. Um, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think there's. You know, if you ask Warrington and and Leeds over the last couple of years, if they want to start the season a bit steadier so they can play well at the end, you play them well in the middle eights, and I don't want to be doing that. So I think we'll go with the template we've started with, we'll try and play well at the start and maintain it as long as we can. Look, we've got to a grand final, haven't we? We've got to a grand final and we've come up short, and um, you know, there's a couple of different reasons for that, and obviously the just a poor performance from us. Well, I'm from me, any, any thoughts about Danny Maguire's performance tonight? Well, he's great, wasn't he? Um, I think over the last few weeks he's just come forward as a. Everybody knows he's a champion player. He has been for years. Uh, probably not been at his best for the last couple of years by his standards. But yeah, just good. I mean, he, he came up with special plays, picking the ball up off the floor after kicks. Just a good player, good bloke, good player. Uh, both him and uh, obviously Rob. I'd like to wish Rob all, all the best. He's in retirement. Danny's got a new challenge, and sometimes that brings out a little bit more in you as well. So. Uh, no, they they deserved it tonight. They had a lot of 
uh, subplots in there that um, they've managed to grab hold, grab hold of, and we've beaten them eight straight. So yeah, the motivation, you know, was was there for them certainly, and um, and it was for us as well, you know, hugely. But uh, yeah, it was just poor performance. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.